Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again, seeing what we might get on our randomizer. We're going to get Jerb today. I don't know how much we've done as Jerb already, but we'll give him a go. We'll play some hard mode Jerb. I'm not sure if this guy has commands to check his, um, his progress. I realize I don't have the mod that tells me anymore. My bad. But honestly, um, that mod was causing a lot of lag for some reason. I don't know why, but anyways, we're going to jump in. We're going to try and do... Um, Let's try and do Hush, and we'll try and do maybe Dark Path. I'm not sure if we've done Dark Path with this guy yet. Lost Fly, hello. Doesn't seem to be glitched out this time. Last time it was glitched out, I may have fixed that. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh, he looks cool. He looks like a Willow Fly. I like that. This is this is me getting hit here. Yep. <laughs> God damn these enemies. Anyways, let's keep it moving. I'll take this pill. Why not? It's just an x lax Whatever. But yeah, for the question of the day today. Um... So one that's maybe a little similar to other ones that we've asked before, but I think it's kind of worth an ask anyways. What is, dude, that eye, it just chilled there, didn't move, and the moment I got near it, it's like, mm, surprise, I can actually move. No. Racist fly. Racist fly. Anyways, what is a game that you were so prepared to love and actually hated? Or actually, like, didn't love as much as you thought you were going to, at least? Um... For me, mine's kind of a mine's kind of a weird one. At least my primary example is kind of a weird one. I probably do have another few down the line there that are um, that are similar on the similar vein. It's kind of an interesting room here. Um, yeah, that are probably like kind of on the same vein. But um, for me, ooh, hello, fool's gold rock. Thank you. For me, I remember one time when this 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 was like back in the PS2 days when I was a kid. I remember like. I don't know how many of you have experienced this or remember this of going to like um, Blockbuster or something like that, like the game shop and just looking at all the cool cases and reading the manuals and being like super hyped to play the game, like reading the manual on the way home and everything. God, they were they were the good old days of gaming. They were um, that was they were always exciting times. But I remember um, one time specifically. I got this game. I don't remember the name of it anymore, so I apologize. It was like a tank game um, for the PS2. And I remember, like, I, I looked at the case and I was like, damn, this looks so cool. This looks so good. Um, and I was so hyped to play it. Oh, come on, give it, give me enough to get jumper cables. That'd be awesome. Um, I was so hyped. What the hell, a black heart from a fire? All right, then. I was so hyped to play it. And unfortunately, I got home, and it was one of those situations where the box art was basically just a complete and utter lie. It was nothing like the box art whatsoever, so I was super, super depressed. <laughs> I played it, and I was like, this is... This is the worst. Like, I, I remember, like, seeing it, driving home with it, and being like, oh my god, this is gonna be, like, my favourite game ever. Like, it even had gameplay images that were completely lies as well and it honestly in ps2 days it, like they got away with that so much more because it was like nowadays if you post a game that's false advertising the fans will be outraged and they'll let you know about it and you you're gonna get called out and you you can recall games and like yeah back in the day it was just nah 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 you just publish a game and that's it tough shit if people don't like it <laughs> so um yeah, I was super hyped to play it. Like, I remember just driving home being like, oh my god, this is going to be the best. And yeah, it was just it was just not even remotely good. Um, yeah, it was not even remotely good. And it just it made me think sad. It made me think sad. But, god, I don't know. The, 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 the days of buying games on disc, while, while in some regard, I mean, obviously a lot of people do still buy their games on disc. It's not exactly like it's dead now. But, like, the days of when you could only buy them on disc... I, I do kind of long for them. Like, it it was always so much more exciting to, um... was always so much more exciting to, to go to the shop and browse the catalogue of games. I mean, Blockbuster, I had one near my house, was just the best thing ever. I loved Blockbuster. Um, having a trip there and just even, like... I don't know how many of you did this as well, where you just, you wouldn't go to buy anything. You'd just go to peruse the games and see what's what. Just go and have a little look around. Um, I, I gotta say, it was oh, it was great. It was the best. I loved it. Hey, finally got something. Right. Try and check the secret rooms here. It was so exciting and like 
I, I remember. <laughs> I do remember one time actually, s somewhat unrelated to the um, what game was you prepared to love question. But I remember one time. Uh, I never had a great relationship in my like childhood life with my grandparents. Like as a, as a like toddler and as a baby, I did. But like once I sort of grew old enough to kind of like learn about them more, I kind of realised the like meh. Not great. <laughs> Weren't really my people. Anyways, um, I remember one time my uh, my granddad came over and he was like, oh, I've got you a really good surprise. Got you a really good surprise. And I was hyped all day because I'm like, yes, he's going to take me to Blockbuster. We're going to go buy some video games. It's going to be amazing. We're going to get some PS2 games. It's going to be awesome. And it got to the time. I think it was like three o'clock in, in, in the middle of the day. Ooh, that's going to be so good for us. Um, it was like 3 o'clock in the middle of the day, and he was like, yeah, here we go, here we go. And he sent me to a football game. And it's the only one I've ever been to in my life, and it was horrible. I hated it. It was so boring. <laughs> it was the most ball I think I've ever been in my life. I am not a fan of football in any sense of the word, and he should have known that. I wasn't a fan of football at that time either. Um, could get a trinket for 15 cent. Oh, that's a bit costly. Yeah, getting um, getting pencil with this fire rate is going to be crazy good. It's every so many shots. So the higher our fire rate, the better it's going to be. That our lost fan here, dude, is, is doing a, a bang up job, to be honest. Right, I think secret room's actually back here. Let me just check. No, it's not. Um, I mean, it could actually. There's potential for it to be right here. No? Hmm. Secret room, oh secret room. Where are you? I really don't know where it is. Be careful of this guy because he fires a lot of shots. But yeah, we are going to have some crazy damage here. But yeah, I remember just being like so unfathomably disappointed. I was just like... Why? You told me you had a surprise. This isn't a surprise. This is a punishment. Like I actually. Oh god. Do you know? I'm gonna. I'm gonna p try and get it. Just to see what's underneath it. Cause yeah, I want that. And I definitely want that. Damn it. I'm not going to take Tech X. I like Tech X, but I honestly don't really think this is the run for it. Damn you, Spin Down. I want you so badly. Where's my other secret room then? Wait, what? I'm confused. Why am I only firing a laser? Oh, because I only have one eye. Okay, that didn't. That also didn't really work the way I planned it to, but we'll take it. Now I've got double laser action. Interesting. Maybe I could, maybe I should take Tech X now then. So where the hell's the secret room? I've checked there. I think I haven't checked here. What? I'm so confused. Where is it? I've checked there. I've checked there. I've checked there. Maybe I missed. No, I can't. So it can't be there. I'm so perplexed. Where is it? What the F? Explain. It's one of those weird ones where it's in a really bizarre spot. It could be, it could be here, actually. I didn't think about this. Yeah, it is. God damn you. Oh, for fuck's sake, game. <laughs> it's like, here's, here's a bunch of really good active items. <laughs> one of them can have them. Ha 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 ha. Ow. T is up speed down. I'll definitely take that any day. At least, um, at least lead pencil's still working for us. I didn't expect it to be, but that's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna leave Tech X. Tech X is good, but I, I, I'm not really feeling a Tech X run today. Ooh, you look different. I'm liking the way you look. Damn. You look a bit more evil. Burn marrow. I guess I'll check this out. 
Money equals power. Yeah, I'll take money equals power. Nice bit of damage up going forward. And we'll keep on pushing down. <laughs> keep on pushing down. But yeah, now it's just kind of like the process of buying a game. Like, I buy all my games digitally now just because it's easier. But the process of buying a game is just... Oh, it's just... Nowhere near as fun or as satisfying as it used to be. And obviously that might just be because I'm an adult now. Like, it, it might be that the, the, the process of going to the store and looking up games isn't quite as fun anymore just because I'm an adult now. But still, I still miss it. Yeah, unfortunately our damage has kind of taken a taken a dive right here. I don't really know if, I if adding tier rate is really doing much for us here. I mean, we're adding a lot of tier rate, so... I don't... I don't think it is doing much because we're not firing um we're not firing lead pencil much more often. Which leads me to believe it isn't working, which is a bit sad. I thought tech two would be really good for us, but I didn't realise we only had one eye. Which makes it not so good. But the good thing is about tech two, it has some really interesting synergies. It can be really good. Yeah, it's just, it's just not quite the same anymore. Like, you buy a game and it's like, you don't really get that hype. And this could be decent. You don't really get that same hype as you used to. Um, yeah, do you know what? Back that. Pick that up. For some stats. It used to be so exciting. Like, I bought Elden Ring recently and I'm, I'm still really enjoying the game and I was really hyped to play it. But, I don't know, it's not quite got that same vibe as, as taking a trip to the shop and getting it. Because that was something else. It really was. And it's kind of sad that, like, the newer generation won't really experience that anymore. Like, there is a lot of, like, older things that have now been phased out for, for good reason that are a bit sad that people won't experience. I mean, there is still the option to experience it, but, like, I don't think many people are going to because you just don't need to. I would very much like to get the stopwatch, please. Uh, I realize that's going to cost us some damage, but it's going to save us some uh, save us some health in the long run, I think. Dude, those things need to calm down. Just need a few more pennies. Wish I could have got spin down. I do. Oh, really? 0 0.02 shot speed? Is that all I'm getting out of this? Okay, one more penny now. One more penny. I'll crack this open. I'll try and look for secret room as well here. And I mean, it's a trinket. It'd be good if the, uh, the, the fly started going around me, but unfortunately, it doesn't work for him. <gasps> There's our penny. I got it. Stopwatch, here I come. Of course, my damage is going to take a hit here, but we'll get that money back pretty quickly, I think. By the way, my character is looking just fantastic right now. Thank you. I like it because it gives us a speed up as well. Speed up's very, very nice. Right, do we have Secret Room already revealed here? Honestly, yeah, the damage is bad. Um, but da, 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 da. I don't think we do have the secret room revealed already. Actually, could be here. Could be here. There you go. Health up. Health up. Health and up. speed up. Yes, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Damn, son. But yeah, any any red health we can get is great because we can fill those up with uh, red hearts and get stats out of it. Second secret room I'm a little, little more unsure about now. A little more unsure about. <clears throat> Probably here. There you go. Da -da -da -da. Um, I will play you. I know I can only play you four times, so I might not get anything out of you. Yeah, exactly. But I kind of want the, the room to fill up with red hearts if I get the opportunity. Seems useful to me. I remember, um, I remember back in uh, college, I think it was. So when I was about sixteen or seventeen, um, I I went to the uh, midnight release of, I think it was Black Ops Three. I think it was Black Ops Three with my friend. Uh, I stayed at his house and we like we went. He got like the ultimate edition. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Interact with the social and gives familiars back without upgrading. Um, this allows you to choose a familiar you want to upgrade. Okay, kind of interesting. I will take this, though. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm going to take this. Um, hmm. I think false PhD here is pretty good. And... Experimental pill. I will leave everything else there. Okay, let's go.
Oh, wait, there's a red heart in here somewhere as well. Thank you for the stats. Not amazing stats, but definitely stats. Yeah, he ordered, like, the ultimate edition of the game. And we went and, like, I wouldn't say camped out, but went and stayed outside for, like, four or five hours after college. And then uh, they had, like, a little event thing going on. Oh, man, I need to sneak. Apologies on that one. That was a very abrupt. Um, I don't think it's over yet, either. I'm thinking I'm going to have to seize again in a moment. It's really annoying. Um... But yeah, I remember they had like a little event thing going on where like if you're coming for the um, for the midnight release, which quite a lot of people were actually. I was surprised by how many people were there. It was more than I expected. But if you were coming for the midnight release, god damn it. I always forget to let those guys get over the gaps first. You, um, yeah, they had like Black Ops 2 set up with like um, a few controllers and they had like a league board so so people could do like leagues of 1v1s and there was like a gun game league and there was some really really cool little stuff they'd set up to um to just make make like the the, the sort of whole experience of it a little more enjoyable they had like some uh perca cola machines that were actually like serving drinks um they had like a juggernaut one and a speed cola one uh, and then they had like a few other bits and bobs as well to do. I think they had like a little merch stall where you could buy like t-shirts and stuff. And then like two of the employees were um, were like setting up other consoles so that you could like play um, like party games and stuff like that. It was really great. It was like a, such a fun experience. I'm so glad I got to exp uh, I got to like actually experience it. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Yeah, I probably still want to keep this, to be honest. But we got a um, thingy now, so that's good. Oh, we actually do fire tears with that as well. Nice. That's good. That's another little micro synergy for us here. Very good. Very nice. Not really needed to use my space barrel too much at the minute. I think the damage we got from Curved Horn has really, really accelerated us for quite, quite a bit. We have a lot of uh, rebirthing enemies here. Oh, he rebirthed as the same champion. I for some reason wasn't expecting that. It's okay though. We got it. We got it. And we got a few keys here as well to go for our item room. I haven't been to uh, any other... God damn it. Man. Why? I haven't been to any other midnight launches actually apart from that one. I do wish I'd have gone to like the GTA 5 midnight launch. My girlfriend went to that one. Um, that was just before we met. Um... But yeah, I'm going to say, I, I really would have loved to have gone to that one. It is kind of crazy to think that GTA 5 came out before I got with my girlfriend, which is now like eight and a half years ago. It's like, god damn. That game is old and still so popular. It's kind of crazy. Uh, ooh, 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 lawful. I will 100% grab lawful if I can. Lawful is a lot of fun. Lawful is a lot of fun. Wait, if we always oh, smell his uh, curved horn, awesome. Didn't realize. Ah, I don't know if you noticed what happened there, but I got hit twice because the enemy um, rebirthed, and both times it died, it fired the cross pattern. Joker, oh, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay. Take on this guy. Hope he spawns some enemies to give us some more charges, but honestly, I don't think that's going to matter too much. I hate this boss so much for telefragging. Okay, good, good. Ooh, eye drops is really good here as well. Awesome. And then we do want to use the Joker card here. Krampus with Lump of Coal could be really good, actually. Damn, I just walked right into him there. Come on, Lumpacol, Lumpacol, Lumpacol. You bastard game. Lumpacol would have been so good there. And you pull that one on me. Right. We do have a guaranteed way to get our money for lawful over there. Let's go do that. I would like to find our other secret room, but honestly, this is kind of a maze. I feel like it's going to be pretty hard to find it on this floor. There's a lot of places it could be. That's annoying, because I need another penny. It's nice to get the item, but I, I needed another penny. If I don't get another penny now, I'm going to be real peed off. Because that, that I needed the extra penny there. <laughs> okay. Um, Have I checked here? I don't know, but it's not there. 
Have I checked against this wall here? Okay, it's not there. Um, pop in here real quick. Guppy's collar's rather nice. Kind of wish I'd have taken Guppy earlier though. Come on now. Please give me another penny somewhere, somehow. I'm be really peed off if I don't get one. Especially considering I had a blood bank machine that was supposed to give me it and didn't. Give me a bloody item instead. I think we're I think we're burned. I think we're burned. That is very depressing. That is very, very depressing. Um I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Give me a minute, I'm thinking. Give me how to jump. At least get some stuff with that. Dude, just jump over the gap! Oh my god! How to jump, you're the worst sometimes. Right. Also, let's traverse through rooms a bit quicker. Is this worth it? Most definitely not, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Is it gonna let me do it, is the question. Come on, destroy the fire. I really thought I'd be able to destroy the fire through there. Okay, we, we, we did get it. Neither of them. How sad. We're all out of luck here by the looks of it. That is very upsetting. I don't think there's any other way we're getting it. We don't have any bombs or anything. Damn it, lawful. It's just so annoying that I had that blood bank and it decided to screw me. <laughs> nah. One penny off. One penny off. God damn it. Lawful so fun as well. <laughs> I kind of want to just give myself a penny and just make it happen. Because Lawful's more fun. <laughs> At this stage, do you know what? I'm going to do it. Um, spawn penny. 521. 5.21. Oh my god, it happened. Whoa, what, what the hell? Oh my god. What happened there? Crazy, crazy. I want lawful. It's more fun. <laughs> it's going to make the run more interesting. It could ruin the run. It, it definitely could ruin the run, but it could also make it more interesting, so... I'm taking it. I did my due diligence. The game just screwed me, is all. So if you don't know what Lawful does, it makes it so that every single item on the floor is of the same item pool. And the item pool is different each floor. But it can select any item pool. So we might get a secret room this floor, we might get devil deal, we might get angel deal, we might get baby. And of course, the first room I complete... Of course, the first room I complete, the next floor gives me a penny. Because we wouldn't want to rub it in, would we? We wouldn't want to rub it in, would we? Good stuff. We got a curdled heart, which we don't need right now. I mean, to be fair, I should, um... I should try and get myself that curdled heart at some point. Oh, look, another active item. That's, that's always good. Getting a lot of active items at the minute. On a character that starts with one. That you don't want to give away. Characters like this shouldn't be able to get active items. Wow, that guy hit me twice. Okay. Oh, can you, can you stop healing everyone, please? There you go. Thank you. Okay. There you go. Creating some nightmare fuel for us there. Don't want that red heart because I want the curdled one instead. Oh, we can take this trinket as well. Oh, we've we smelted both of our... God damn, we're, get, we're getting lucky with trinket smelts so far. <laughs> okay, there you go. we got a clot now. Bit of extra damage. I say a bit. Quite a lot of extra damage. The clot hearts are pretty damn strong.
Okay, that's a lot of health there as well, and consumables. Okay, I think we've got a good run going here. I think we've got more than, more than a good run going here. I think we've got a great run going here. Where's the hand? Every time the, those get me, and it's just the worst. It's just the worst. But yeah, that's another good question for you guys. Have any of you been to a midnight launch of a game? So how was it? Was there anything interesting there? Or was it just mostly, like, queuing up? Because I know some of them do, like, more fanfare stuff, and others, others are just, like, queue at the door, get your game. That's another thing as well about, like, the older days of gaming. Like, everything now is... It's kind of better in a way, but it's not, like... Everything now has, like, the battle pass or, like, live service model where, um, where you just get, you get content for free but over the course of a game's life cycle. I think I actually preferred paid DLCs. Like, I feel like when, when you paid for a DLC, for one, because it wasn't free, they had a certain level of quality they had to uphold, which meant that you were more often getting a quality product, A. Eh? You are more often getting a quality product. And two, I don't know, just the hype of a DLC release having, like, so much content in it. Whereas, like, with the fan service stuff, especially in reference to Call of Duty, it'd just be like, um... Okay, we got Loki's horns here. Um... Yeah, whereas with, like, uh, like Call of Duty live service now, it's just like, oh, well, it's been, the game's been out for four months now. Here's one map. And it's like, one? Like, normally, when, when a DLC would get released, you'd get, like... You get like four multiplayer maps in a zombies map, and it was so hype. It was so hype. Ooh, tractor beam. Try and get extra vision as well. Yeah, I gotta say, like everyone was so hyped up. I mean, I think, I think it's just especially because Call of Duty's gone downhill a little bit over the past few years. Back in the day, everyone used to like go mental for it, and it was like. One of the greatest games. Uh, so, like, I think the hype of everyone, like, getting off school and trying to um, trying to get home and install the DLC as fast as you could, it was always really, really enjoyable. Um, we have a luck penny in this room, apparently. I'd very much like that. I would very much like that, but I can't get it. Um, not much else more to see this floor is there. What did we get from our item room? Did we get... Oh, it was an active item, wasn't it? Yeah. Was an active item. Unfortunate. Right. Boss time. It's cage. Tractor beam's very good for us here, by the way, if you can't tell already. <laughs> oh my god. And we get glaucoma. Hell yeah. And infestation 2. Hell yeah. Definitely take infestation 2. And I'll take cat food because it's literally free. And we'll be on our way. We will be on our way. Yeah, the, the, the hype, the hype of gaming now, obviously, like I said, it might just be because I'm older, but I feel like the hype of gaming is just nowhere near what it used to be. It used to be crazy. Um, it used to be that, like, everyone, everyone would get so hyped at school and everyone would be, like, racing home to play the DLCs or play the new Call of Duty release or play, like, the new GTA. No, it just doesn't happen anymore. Just, I don't know. Uh, do you know what? I think that's actually kind of good with, um, with False PhD. I miss it. I, I, I remember literally, like, speed walking home from college um, to play GTA V when it released. I remember, like, ringing up my dad and, like, getting him to, like, run to the shop and make sure he bought it and got it installed for me before I got home. And, yeah, just playing that game nonstop. And then when the multiplayer came out, because the multiplayer was actually delayed. A lot of people that play the multiplayer now probably didn't, like, wasn't playing it when it first came out, so you might not know about this. But, like... When the multiplayer first came out, it was, like, massively delayed. It was, like, it came out, like, three months after the game actually came out. Um, I think it was just to get the servers ready, which didn't work because it was the most unstable piece of crap when it first came out. Um, it was it was really, really, really unstable. But I remember, like, when multiplayer came out, everyone, holy hell, so hyped. But then again, I think, I think obviously, nowadays, the multiplayer for GTA isn't really anything special. But when it came out, damn, that was, like... Some really, really unique open-world multiplayer stuff that people hadn't really seen before. It was very, very different. Um, and so that the hype was just so much larger. And I think that is um, part and parcel one of the one of the other reasons that the hype 
isn't really there as much anymore. It's because everything's already been done. And, like, it's, it's so rare that something new and innovative comes out. One thing I will say that I played recently that I felt was really unique and, like, really, really new was I played Stray. I um, I don't know how many of you have um, have been hearing about Stray. I'm sure a few of you have. Um, it's the... I think we're on a secret room pool. No, angel room pool this time around. Um, yeah, I don't know how many of you have heard of Stray. I'm sure you have, but it's the game where you get to play as a cat in, like, a cyberpunk world. And you've got to make your way from, like, the bottom of the city all the way back to the top. And... It was, it's just awesome. It was so fun. It was so unique. Uh, yeah, this is Angel Pool, so we want to be doing some re-rolling here. Um, this is laggy, but I'll take it. Yeah, I'm going to say, like, it was so, like, just playing as a cat just invites so much more, like, uniqueness to the gameplay. We'll take Book of Virtues here, because it'll combine with our book nicely. Don't know why I even bothered rolling past that. I can't afford anything. My goodness. Right. Yeah, it was it was just an absolutely f fabulous experience. The one thing I will say about it, it's very short. It was only around... F it only took me and my girlfriend around five hours to beat. But it was only like £20, so... For a story experience, that's actually not too bad. And it was a very very well polished experience too like visually it was absolutely stunning it, it's just an absolute marvel to, to just look at that game and the worlds that they've crafted and they did an absolutely fantastic job of segmenting the game into separate areas and also having the areas be very unique from one another despite all being in the same place um Speed down, that's fine. Despite all being in the si this same this same place, the same world, they all had like this really good semblance of, of character to them, and they were all very unique in their own style. Um, we got an angel deal somehow here. Oh, it's because we've got Book of Virtues, isn't it? Uh, we're taking Dark Path, aren't we? Nice. I guess I'll grab you just in case. Thank you. We'll keep it going. Yeah, the, 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 just the style that they had created was just so good. And then just, like, the movement and, like, the, the 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 way that you completed puzzles and the way that you, like, helped different NPCs around certain areas, like, as a cat, are just so enjoyable. They were just so cool because it was just so unique. Like, I don't, I don't know personally of any other game where you play as a cat that's, like, a proper game. Like a full-on game. Um, I don't know of any others that exist. If they do, correct me. But I felt like it was a very, very unique experience. Which, in gaming, is just so rare nowadays. Everything is just a rehash of something else. Or a new version of something old. And it's you don't really see that all that many... Um, you don't really see all that many unique experiences in gaming anymore. And it's kind of sad. It's, it, it's a shame. But at the same point, like... It is sad, but it also kind of isn't, because it's like we, we had to have experienced the other things to get here. Why did I even use my book there? You have to have experienced the other thing. Like, the only reason they're rehashes is because the originals came long before, and the originals are what kind of sourced and, and created the game that we have today. So it's kind of like, like, even this is like heavily inspired by Zelda. It's not really a completely unique idea. The roguelike elements obviously were, but... Well, they were, obviously, they weren't really unique because it's a roguelike. But you know what I mean. They were combining these two elements was unique. Ooh. Secret room items, baby. Got ourselves sacred orb. Very nice. I think it's, um... It's... What's it called? Uh, lead pencil. Rock bottom? Holy shit. Hello. Do we have anything that works well with rock bottom, really? I don't think we do right now. But Lead Pencil's really been carrying here. Really been carrying. We're keeping our fire rate though, which is nice. From rock bottom. That helps. Ooh, Monstro's looking kind of swag. This this pack that I've got recently, it's it's definitely added a more like cutesy, cartoony feel to some of the enemies. I like it. It's really good. 
kind of fits the game aesthetic quite a lot. Oh, we can take this without any repercussions. Tears down. Nice. I see you there. Oh, why are Dominic still broken? What's going on with that? I need a place where I can use my active more than once. I thought this room was the best bet. Yeah, there you go. Now, now I'm up to a 11. So now I'd need to use it three times in one room to get uh, to get some advantage out of that. Okay, let's keep going. We need a room with a lot of enemies. Look at that just like massive triangle. Yeah, this this is one of the reasons, by the way, that I think the uh, the curdled heart, the clot heart, is insanely powerful. Like my clot is still alive. Like it's still alive. <laughs> I've kept it for a few floors now, and it's doubling the amount of shots that I fire. Kind of crazy, in my opinion. <laughs> I think it needs to be, uh... Needs to be nerfed a little bit. Maybe just make the clot decay health like the ones do from normal Eve, because I don't think they do that right now. We've definitely entered Slight Lag City here. I'll try it again here. I don't think I'll get three charges out of this room, though, I'll be honest. Nah. I had to try. Any room that looks like it could be potentially possible, I've got to go for. I'll try opening this to get me my money. Or else I've been leaving money all over the place. Ooh, that's good. I'll take that. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, I think now we're, uh, we're going to be rolling pretty heavy and killing things pretty easily. Hoping we get like Herming or something to, to have a cool synergy with Tractor Beam. Tractor Beam's got some new synergies. Oh really? Oh, I double walked over that. I always forget the Immortal Hearts don't have um, any iframes. They can be broken straight away. This does mean I can swap out my. Um, I can swap out my active item when I want now. I, I literally, unless I can use it three times in a room, I don't need it anymore. It's kind of funny how the lasers are so secondary to this run. Even though the laser is technically the only thing we fire. Yes, yeah, so we did get an angel deal as well. Good, good. And this time we get Eden's Blessing. Thank you. There you go. Taken care of. We just missed Hush, unfortunately. We just missed Hush. But there you go. Let's move on. We can at least do Mega Satan regardless. Like I said, I don't actually know what I've done as this guy before. It's been a while since we played as him. I apologize if I've already done Mega Satan. I apologize if I've already done Dark Path, but it's kind of the way the cookie crumbles for us right now. Okay. Don't really need to pick up everything here. We're pretty much fine on consumables, really. I do get questions, by the way, fairly often of... How do I reduce my lag? How do I play modded without it being really laggy? There's, there's a few main ways for me. One is I make sure that if I've been playing anything else or had other programs open before playing Isaac that I reboot my PC. So it's as if I just turned it on sort of thing and then play. That seems to help. Um, this probably would be a good room to use this actually. Um, that, al that always seems to help. But also um, taking all of my texture mods and uh, my visual mods and combine them all into one folder, then unsubscribing from the Steam page and just having it as what technically one mod, because then the game has to load a lot less mods. Like, I've probably got, like, 20, maybe more mods all in one folder. I keep being hit here. Yeah, um, which definitely seems to help. And then another thing is just removing mods that you don't actually need. Like, it's so easy. I do this all the time. It's so easy to bloat your mod list with mods that you that you really don't need. Like, for example, um, stuff like the Akaldama Synergy mod. That's a cool mod, but I had it on for like two months and I never got Akaldama once in that entire time. So I was just like, eh, why do I have this installed? I don't need it installed if I never ever see it work. And there's, there's quite a few like that where you just don't need them sometimes. They seem cool, but you don't need them. Like, I've got this mod that adds the Tractor Beam synergies, which I don't technically need, but honestly, I feel like I see Tractor Beam enough for it to be worth it. Damn it, L 
little bit early on that, it's okay though. There's three of you, what the hell? This guy should be a kind of piece of cake, actually. Oh, I hate it when he does that. It's such BS. Y y you can't be doing that, sir. It's just telefrag me. It's because you, if you knock him back too far away from the center of the screen, he tries to, like, elastic back to the center. Also, the coming down mod doesn't work with his feet, which is really annoying when he's eternal. But anyways, we got him. That's Mallet. So we definitely hadn't done this before. Whack-a-mole unlocked as well. Get ourselves in here. That's Mallet's a really good unlock as well. I like that item a lot. Sinus infection, I would actually say is well worth it. Soy milk? Probably not. I don't think we need soy milk with the amount of fire rate we've got. Oh, actually, no. Wait, 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 wait. Soy milk won't be a stats down. Definitely take it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I actually didn't add that much lag either. Good stuff. Good stuff, baby. Obviously, our health now is a little bit worrying. The stars. Remove our oldest passive. Okay, that's kind of good. We might as well just do that here because, um, yeah, rubber cement and halo fly. Still need to fix that, apparently. But rubber cement's a good one, definitely. Slightly adds to the lag factor here, but that's fine. The damage output. It's insane. Remember, we got to do Mega Satan as well here. Loki's horn's proccing quite a lot too, just because of how much we're firing. That's really nice. Got an item there. Polydactyl, whatever. We'll take it. Nice. Sulfuric acid. Not very useful on this floor, but would it be good otherwise? Good, good, good. Where are you, boss man? The amount of bugger tears that are going to be sticking here is going to be kind of insane. Oh my god. The prismic item is just so busted. It really needs to be tweaked a bit. It triggers way too many shots and it just lags the game like crazy. It's fun, but it is very laggy. The curse of Ipecac sometimes. Ipecac mod is great, but it's got some lag, boy. It's got some lag. Okay, here's our boss. This should be a pretty quick kill. That did actually give us some fire at that time. A very minor amount, but it did give us some. But yeah, like, it feels like every single enemy is prismatic or whatever you call it. Like, it's supposed to be a rare thing, isn't it? <laughs> I'll take out the body first. Body's easiest. But yeah, avoiding like completely, as you can see, isn't entirely possible. There's going to be runs that lag the hell out of the game. Not much you can do about that. Dude, this is a very hard attack pattern to dodge. There you go. Quite an easy kill on you. No thank you. Job's family unlocked a good item there. And we go and try and do Mega Satan as well. Don't know if we'll actually be able to do Mega Satan, but I think so. But yeah, you can see how um, Tractor Beam's doing some interesting stuff with the reflection. Like bouncing off stuff. You can see it like as I move between rooms slightly. Anyways, through here we go. Let's give this a go. See how it is. I think it should be alright. I think we should be able to get him. But yeah, the damage from the prism item, pretty bonkers. You 
Can you die? Thank you. Okay. Stick as many of these as we can to him. Think later. Yeah, at the minute we just want the Book of Virtue wisps out, I guess. <laughs> just insta-death for him. I'm surprised these, these Black Angels don't have their boss armor at all. It feels like they should have it. There you go. Second phase, here we come. This, this run really got wacky towards the end there, didn't it? Really got pretty crazy towards the end. Started off a little bit humdrum. But towards the end, it really sh quite literally showed its true colors. Oh my lord, look at the damage. One thing you gotta remember as well is because of the because of the lowered frame rate, he's dying slower than he should be. This, this, that should have been even quicker. But goddamn. Do we get um delirium? Because I would go for delirium right now. We didn't. Oh damn. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A very fun run, lots of unlocks, and I'll see you guys in the next one.